is not only burning the midnight candles, but it must also be parallel with attitude. We wish that whatever triumphs you will reap, you will always be like a coconut that stands up to the sky, but its leaves sway down the earth as if it remembers the land that keeps it life. Like the coconut, wherever we may be, whether we will soar higher than the bamboo or stand up like pine trees, we will always look down to our dear alma mater that had molded us into meaningful and productive citizens of this world. So juniors, and to so all those whom we will leave behind, we became all things as follows. The brilliance and manliness of Christopher John Javier and Milbert de Vera are handed down to Jan Benedict Cachabel, Marcos Sabado, and Mustan Lares. The full room exuitiveness and cleverness of yours truly, Noemi Baliser, Janela Ayra Payumo, Christine Marie Saura, and Novel Natalie Flauta pass their achievements to Joyce Almendrana. Maria Hennessy Orines, Sunshine Hoven, and Jen Alexis Ayeto. The outstanding leadership's ability and fortitude of all the senior officers of the Supreme Student Government, spearheaded by yours truly, Noemi Balicer, are passed on Maria Hennessy Orines and to the future leaders of our alma mater. Matt Wizards, Christopher John Javier, Noemi Panacer, Kyle Floyd Tambalan, Leia Martinez, and Rachel Guatano pass their commendable performance in mathematics to Joyce Alvinrana, Paul Lawrence Gunay, and Rustan Lares. Christopher Jan Javier, Evel Mark Season, Tyus Floyd Papalan, Yours Truly, Noemi Balicer, Diana Tanya Saure, Venus Vinites, and Novel Natalie Plauta, Best Load Respects, to Jan Benedict de Chapel, Sarsi de la Cruz, Lizzie Joyce Ordelia, Lawanda Eunice Ventimiglia, Rustan Flares, and Liberty Jane Mejia. Computer with Kids, Brian Jerome Robles, and Christian Yosero, hand down their commendable skills to Gian Carlo Agassite. The Math Masters, Matt Astley Fernandez, Jan Gilbert Bermundo and Brian Jerome Robles pass their chips and boards to John Christian II, Miep Nimo, and Brian Taasi. Smart and spirited public speakers, Ginella Ayra Payumo and Diana Taya Saure, hand down their public speaking skills to Emily Don Ramirez, Aaron Josh Fernandez, and John Benedict Pachapel. Guitar experts of Jeffrey Kent Lunon, Christian Nocero, Mark Andrew Frias, Jason Sanchado, Darwin Maaba, Arvin Lucas Nuevo, James D. Fernandez, Hani Zen Magano, Maika Bugari, Jan Kenas Bugari, Angela Matimira, and Krishna Padera turn over their passion and music and musical instruments to Emma Donets, Julius Crepa, Aaron Josh Fernandez, Ira Megan Season, Angela.
Lila Nicole Kudumu, Michael Lanchetta, and Albon Angelo Avila. Yours truly, Noemi Balizer, Diana Tanya Saure, Michael Jenny Castillan, Cherry Lynn Catilario, Christopher John Javier, Arvin Juby Bautista, Christine Marie Saura, John Kennedy Cervantes, Christine Sudaba, Shaila Marie Fajardo, and Charlene Banyaga, hand them their love for literary works, fascination in writing and literature to Maria Hennis Lee Biorines, John Benedict Cachapel, Joy Salvinrani, Aaron Josh Fernandez, and Michelle Young. Certified researchers, Christine Joy Catana, Jen Kennedy Cervantes, Luis Erlene Ladico, Ginella Ayla Ayun, Lex Angelo Rosario, Maylin Natividad, and Giovanni Mata. Hand over your laboratory apparatus to Daisy Joyce Ordelia, Jen Benedict Cachapel. Leslie Evan Maria Cuesta, Rachel Kent Michael, Jamar Tijada, and Lawanda Eunice Benvenilla. The powerful broadcasting voices of Diana Tanya Saure, Christine Marie Saura, John Kennedy Cervantes, Rachel Sarkinia, Everett Mark Cecil, and Maika Mundana are handed down to Leslie Evander Lacuesta, Ronald Idones, Gianquino Evangelista, Giancarlo Agasite, Jeffrey Alamillo, Emily Don Ramirez, and Angela Nicole Cotumo. Jerry Cueva, Jason Sanchato, Neil Edward Ferrer, Romeo Brian, John Carlo Guntan, and Jonas Ayello turn over the athletic abilities, Siamese spikes, and the reliable skills in volleyball to Juven Zorzaba, John Carlo Corpus, Andronico Fernandez, Raul Joseph Repato, Gerald Baronia. Mark Harris Vito and Kyle Arts Leo. Set up the Crown Masters, Jerry Cueva, Ryan Joe Robles, Jefferson Cortino, and James D. Fernandez. Pass the entire set up the Crown Court to Alan de la Vega, Melvin Guarín, Gerald Baronia. Jervy Salvador, and Hero the Queen. Notable wood pushers, Ned Kayaban, Alvaro Sawa, Ginella Ayra Payumo, John Gilbert Perbundo, and Damien Lizette Oschan. Leave their chessboards to Jennifer Bunga and Neil Harvey Pinto. Art Gurus, Raynard Corpus, Ronette Cayaban, Jerry Cueva, Alta Christine Marie Cagano, Arvin Juby Bautista, Lex Angelo Rosario, and Angelica Hubert. Hand over their exceptional craftsmanship and their artistic inclination to Sunshine Hubert. Leslie Evander La Cuesta, Eugene Rosette, Virgil Antonio Isma, Jeffrey Alaminio, Giancarlo Agasite, Samantha de Guzman, and Alvon Angelo Avila. Musicians, Christian Marquez, Jonathan Fabros, Darwin Maaba, Vince Roswell D. Labrador, Diana Tanya Saore, Joyce Ann, 
and a charm. And enjoy interior. Venus Benitez, Kimberly Solian, Shaila Marie Cardo, and Isaiah Pabros pass to their golden voices to Charlene Gonzalez, Angela Nicole Mutumo, Albon Angelo Avila, and Joanne Miguel Quiro. Next, your sisters. Next, Angelo Rosario. Joyce and Machar, Christian Marquez, Kimberly Soliad, Princess Diane Sarmiento, Lori Jean Viray, Jeremy Flores, Saraya Daniel, Venice Joyner Tates, Angela Ferrer, Jasmine Pagtakunan, Janil Cho, Alma Grace de Guzman, Christopher Bistro and the members of the Kenwood Girls paved the way for more Thursday experiences from Sunshine Movet, Christine Claire Munar, Joyce Almendrada, Albon Angelo Avila, Joy Macy Lau, Anaisa Budol, Clarissa Bueno, Kim Parinas. Sulamite Pimentel, Chloe Elijah Maniglub, and Angela Nicole Wadumo to surmount the dance floor. Good looking and happy Pyrus Floyd Pampala, Christian Lucero, Jesse Angelo Velasquez, Michael Corrari, Jason Santiago, Matt Ashley Fernandez. Austria, Michael Arcega, and Daniel Soriano pass their princely looks to John Benedict Cachapero, Brennan Chavez, Brian Taas, Melvin Guarín, Christian Malagdai, Matthew Torrio, Zach Solomon, and August Joe Faith Montana. Yours truly, Noemi Panacer, Michael Jenica Suliat, Michael Montana, Janela Ira Payumo, Aini La Cuesta, Rachel Sorkinia, Cherilyn Tanguilario, Alma Grace de Guzman, Krishna Valera, Princess Joy Musuela, Micaela Torrio, and Clarissa Candelario. Past their captivating elegance and appealing looks to Maria Hennessy Orines, Joan Minet Quiron, Bian Machar, Maria Bettina Grace Pasqua, Chelsea Lopez, Kristin Claire Renard, Sunshine Covet, Kate Nicole Luapa, Clarissa Bueno and Prisha Mauricio. Lastly, to our dearest alma mother, who we will cherish deeply in our hearts for it guided and inculcated in us the ideals and aspirations that we needed as we flock our wings higher to believe our caring heart to you. Our memories will live on as they have become a very important part of our histories. Finally, we, the seniors, are signing off. So juniors, please take charge and continue the legacy until the very end. Thank you, Noemi. You made everyone smile and even bring out the laughter in everyone's heart in your wonderful life. Our students, especially the keepers, will undoubtedly be inspired by our guest of honor and speaker, who was once a student and at the same time leader of this alma mater, the 
Mangatara National High School. He will be introduced by the compassionate and motherly head teacher of the mathematics department, Mrs. Leonora G. Sarsadi. Our very able MCs, Mrs. Stella Ferrer and Mrs. Sisa Gana. Our very intelligent and dynamic principal, Madam Rosario Ligario Cabrera. Our PTA BOD officers, headed by Pastor Miguel Nimo. Our very dedicated teachers, my fellow head teachers who are around, the curriculum chairpersons of the lower years, we have Mrs. Norma Gonzal, Miss Eliza Fertes, and Mrs. Jocelyn Saura for grade seven, second year and third year respectively. Our dear parents, our beloved students, other guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to one and all. Today, we are staging the 69th Annual Recognition and Class Day Exercises of our dear institution, the Mangatara National High School. In this very significant event, we are very lucky to have with us a person who is a role model, especially for a student who wants to succeed in life. For early on, he set out a definite goal for what he wanted in the future and went out to achieve this goal undaunted by the obstacles that may have threatened to derail his path. Our guest of honor and speaker was my former student in geometry way back school year 1986-1987. And I am very proud to say that he is one of the finest students the Mangatara National High School has ever had. Palapat naman siya. Though bestowed with good looks and intellectual abilities, he remained to be very humble. The reason why he reiterated that he be introduced in the simplest way possible. We exerted efforts and requested him to furnish us his bio data. But he said, he wanted us to focus on his message in today's affair rather than on his achievements. Our guest of honor and speaker is the youngest son of the two children of the late Santiago Pasqua and the former Erlinda Palmero, a retired Philippine Airlines employee. He is happily married to the former Maria Jinina Bautista Loa, his classmate. And they were blessed with three intelligent, healthy, and loving children, two girls named Nikki and Nika, and one boy named Nico. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, I am doing a very simple introduction because I was not really furnished a bio data of our guest of honor and speaker. Our guest of honor and speaker is really very humble and a respectful, respectful person. Kahit po nasaan siya, kahit saan niya makasalubong yung kanyang former mentors, he is to it na talagang ibinibigay niya ang paggalang sa mga nakakatanda at lalong-lalo na sa kanyang mga naging guro. Kaya kayo mga nandito ngayon na aming paparangalan, sana po, sana mga anak, ay gayahin ninyo ang ating guest of honor and speaker. Narating niya ang kanyang kinatatayuan ngayon because of hard work and dedication. And so, without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am very proud to present to you our guest of honor and speaker who is a proud son of Magnataram National High School and currently the department head of sales operation group, the biggest and the best cable company in the country. Without much ado, I am very honored to present to you our guest of honor and speaker, Mr. John Brian P. Pasqua, fifth honorable mention, MNHS class 
because they are not my former teachers. Okay? So, let's start. Uh, meron po ba ba tayong current events ngayon? Meron po ba lang na? May hilig. Sino mo may sa current events dito? Ako lang. Ako lang natatas mo may palagi. Ma'am, pwede ba? Ma'am, may I go home? May hilig sa ako dito. Di ba yung mga balita ko ngayon? Medyo nakakabahala. Uh, alam niyo po bang nangyayari sa Saba? Di ba? Grabe ho, no? Our problem in Saba is already saging. Saging. Hindi yung saging banana. Okay? Saging. Okay? Eh, yung po, ano? Yung po, estudyante, si Christine Bubayon, yung UP student, nagpakamatay dahil yung suspicion fee. Di ba? Nakakabahan mo yun. Grabe na po yung mga balita ngayon. Naririnig nyo pa ako ko dyan sa likod? Sa gilid? Okay. Ah, pwede lang po tayo magkasundo. Ah, mabilis lang po ito. Lahat po na mapapakinggan nyo ngayon ay bawang katang isip naman. <laughs> Diyan ko na po yun. So, pwede po tayo magkasundo sa... Mga ano lang naman po ito. Nag-breakfast po ba kayo? Kasi abutin po tayo ng dinner. <laughs> okay. Ah, pwede po ba tayo magkasundo sa dalawang bagay lang? Uh, in, let's put our phone, uh, silent mode, or uh, i-off po natin. Pag may nag-text po at kailangan niyo pong sagutin, kung may tumawag, pakisabi ko, busy si Brian, na sa taas ng tablado. Okay, yun ba yun? Tapos pag may nagustuhan po kayo o naintindihan, pwede po ba nang masigabang masiga palapakan? <laughs> yun, naintindihan. Galing, achievers talaga. Ah, uh, okay. So, maraming maraming salamat po. Yun lang po ang dalawa natin pong uh, kasunduan ngayong araw na po. Bigyan niyo ako ng konting uh, oras po dito. Sana po, sabi ko mga kay Sir Efren, I could meet the expectations that uh, yung batch namin, mga parents, at saka mga achievers. So, going back, nagpabalita po ang yung likod, si Brian Paz. Di ba, yung nabalita natin, yung nagpakamatay, yung sasaba, tapos yung boom laude sa uh, Angeles, yun ba yun? Grabe yun na po mga balita ko ngayon. Uh, hindi na po nakakatuwa, magamat, nakakabahala. Uh, good news naman po, after the bad news, palaging may good news. Binulot ko. Happy most papam. Di ba ba? Uh, di ba ang agreement natin pag naiintindihan at nagustuhan, palakpakan? Happy most papam. Sabi mo kapit bahay mo namin, nakita ko kanina. Habi mo si mama. Sabi ko, walang inuman. <laughs> Habi mo si mama. Alam niyo ho, uh, sa pagkakataon nito, medyo naging involved tayo po. Pinanood natin yung pag-ilay ng bagong pope. At ang yung lingkod po ay pinalad na manalo sa isang palingsahan. Nahulaan ko po kung sino ang magiging pope. Alam niyo, meron ba nakahula kung sino magiging pope? Sa so first of everything, first name Francis, first from Latin America, di ko ba? Nahulaan ko po na ang magiging po. Sigurado po ako, 100% katoliko. Di ko ba? Okay. Oo. Hindi yung nahulaan yun. Ako po nahulaan ko po. Pinag-pray ko po yun. Okay. So, pero meron po isang balita na nakabahala po sa akin. It was 2009 September na talaga pa naman po hanggang ngayon ay kinakabahalo ako. Nakita nyo na ba ito yung news clippings na ito? Iyan. Nababasa nyo ba sa likod? Yan? Oo, oh, hindi na tawanan yung mga, mga teenager natin. 2009 po yung binalita. Pinatay. Dahil pogi. Ang, kaya ako nininervyos eh. Nininervyos sa kami takot. Took me 25 years to, uh, to go on public. I'm exposed right now. So wala naman mo siguro galit sa pogi dito. <laughs> uh, alam ko, alam ko. Medyo, medyo, hindi ko kayo makarelate. Ako lang mga karamdam. <laughs> so, so, so lang yan. Kaya ako doon sa introduction ni Ma'am Karina, humble, ayun uh, ang atawin ni Tumama. Kasi sabi ng nanay ko po, uh, 
uh, magpayaman ka anak kasi ang yaman na ubos ang yabang hindi <laughs> wa first year ha uh, itweet nyo yun itweet nyo yun <laughs> okay. so actually uh, ang totoo po nun really uh, karangalan ko po na makita palagi kahit sa andaan niya mga teacher ko po yan, uh, isa po yan si Mr. Valentino na pagkamalan ng tao grass ang niliyakat ko siya <laughs> nagja-jacking po ako noon so biglang hindi na alam, nilakat ko po siya ay ay ay, sino ka? Tao grass hindi po, kasi kung tao grass po ako yung punso ko ang tawag sa kanya, baby oil huwag nyo na ako i-tweet ko, huwag nyo i-post joke lang po yun so actually I became humble uh, wala ako si pastor kanina dito siguro Sabi ko, Pastor, bahala ka na sana sana. Sabihin ko, patawarin mo ako si Pastor Nimo kanina. So, actually, I became humble when I started leaving. It was three years ago when I baptized. Uh, Christian baptism, a water baptism. So, yun po. Hindi po ako 41 years old. Biologically, I'm 41 years old. But I'm actually three years old living the life of a Christian. Nagustuhan niyo ba yan? Iyan. Salamat po. So, tanungin niyo po kung kailan ako naging humble kung nakikinig po tayo. Question. Uh, gusto ko marinig, kailan ka naging humble? Yeah, when I became perfect. Okay, thank you. Choko yun. O mabilis ang bumika po doon. Mabuli. So, magpasensya niyo na po ito. Huwag kayo mabahala. Pro-problemahin ko na lang po yan. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Nakaka-nervous talaga dito sa harap, lalo nakatingin si Sir Efren. Isa po yung ano yan, isang mentor ko dyan. Okay, uh, as we proceed, okay na po ba ito sa news natin? Okay, eto po. Totoo ba ito? Uh, tignan niyo po yung nasa kaliwa nyo. Ayan. Tignan niyo po yung nasa harap nyo. Sa kanan, sa likod. Pag may nawala, kilala nyo na. <laughs> Actually, sabi ni Mother Teresa, lahat mo naman kayo nakangiti, eh. let us all greet each other with a sincere smile, for smile is the expression of love. Diba? Panggitian po tayo. Yan. Taas po natin ang kanang kamay. O, oh, taas po natin ang kanang kamay. Tumingin po tayo sa harap kanan, sa kanan natin. Abang nakangiti, alam ko ang ulam mo kanina. <laughs> Pambira ako, ayun, nawala na ako yung joke, nawala na ako yung nervous ko. Okay. Ah, ito po ang example. Smile. Iyan. Iyan, no? Si Nico Boy. Yan po ang aking uniko iho. Yan po, ah, pwede nyo i-record to para marin ng ex-girlfriend ko po. Totoo po yun, yan po ang aking uniko iho. Dokumentato. Marami po ang ano dito ng gamit. Sweet. Sweet po yung mga tao dito. Okay, yan po ang aking bunsong anak, si Nico po. Ganyan po siya mag-smile. Nandiyan po siya. Yan. Okay, sabi po nila, sino po yan? Yan, ako yan. Di ba, ako yan. Sino po yan? O, bakit ko ito mawa? Malayo ba? Diba? Ala, malayo ba? Malayo? Malayo, malayo. Totoo yun, malayo. Pilit na pilit. Iyan po, sino po yan? Lalo! <laughs> ang mira na ano. Akala ko ang guest speaker dito pinagbibigyan. Ngayon pinagtatawa na. <laughs> o, eto na lang. Pag pinagsama-sama. Iyan! O, oh, iyan! Ang nakikita ko doon, Beatles o Tancho. 
Yan mga kabataan, hindi nyo na po alam yan. May glitters pa. <laughs> okay. Uh, the theme of... Uh, seryoso na. Seryoso na. Seryoso na. Tama na ho. Yung mga joke mamaya pag pa-uwi. Sige, isa kanya na lang po. K to 12. Diba? Ganda. K to 12. Pero meron akong nabasa. Meron 0 to 6. A 0 to K. Pero uh, hindi mo natin pag-uusapan ngayong araw na to. Pero ay... I urge the students from first year, especially our fourth year students, uh, na magkakalings uh, na ngayon, i-GMG nyo po. O ano yung GMG? GMG. I-Google mo, go. Google mo, go. K to 12. Meron po kasi isa pang dapat ma-address yung 0 to 6, yung growth years, bago makapag K to 12. O, ayan. K to 12. O kaya ganito na lang. K to 12. Parehas na mo ba yun? Mga Miss Denise, ay, Miss San Sabiria, parehas na mo ba yun? K to, o kaya dash? Ah, K to. Ah, dati po K dash 12. Okay, Google nyo po yun. Yung poem by Edmond Gondet, the dash. Ah, the dash. Pero huwag nyo muna iisipin, bata pa po ba yun? Okay? Eto, my students. Yeah, K to 12. Nakupo. K to 12. Tignan nyo mga first year, no? K to 12. Ganyan kasi kayo mag-tip-text, eh. Je, je, je. Alam nyo, hindi ako nahihirapan makarelate sa inyo. No, ma? Kahit sikitan nyo lang ako, eh. Okay, K to 12. Building the nation's future leaders through K-12 Basic Education Program. Ano ang napansin nyo dyan? Ano ang nakakatch ng attention nyo sa slide na yan? Si Red, ako po ito. The Dash. And we will discuss about Dash, Dash, today. Ano ho ba ang ilatapat na dyan? Ano ho ba ang ginagawa natin in between K-12? Yun po ang pag-uusapan natin yun po ang nabanggit ni Ma'am Galisen, Ma'am Sarsadilla, kung paano tayo makakarating sa 12. We will start with 1 before we go to 12. So, okay ba yun? Do we agree? Yun po yung i-discuss natin. Today, we will discuss all about power. Pakisabi mo lang natin ang malakas, power. Power. Paano walang power? Diba? Ang knowledge ay power. Sabi ni Ernie Baron. Pakilakas po, power. Ayun. Uh, due to the interest of time, marami po kasi yan, uh, we will discuss just about the two. Pag-uusapan natin yung power of attitude. Sa Tagalog ay ugali. Then the power of discipline. Okay? Kung gusto nyo pong i-GMG, may power of encouragement, may power of goal setting, may power of vision, and may power of focus. But this morning, We will only discuss about the power of attitude and the power of discipline. Okay, are you ready? Ready na? Okay, all ears. Okay, yung mag-ring po yung phone, yung mag-text, paparapon po natin. Okay, ito na. Mag-i-start muna tayo sa reading exercise. Kala nyo, tapos na yung klase yan. Okay, let's start. Basahin po natin yan, sabay-sabay. If you can read this, Alam nyo ko, yung nasa likod, 
nababasa nila masyado, no? As we go and front, alam nyo, yan po yung totoo. Di ba? Lalo yung mga kabataan nyo natin ngayon, yan yung mag-text. And they thought that spelling is not important. Important po yung spelling. <laughs> Nandiyan po si Madam Cabrera sa harap. Masyado akong sweet. May asawa na po ako. <laughs> so yan, di ba? Nabasa natin po lahat. Si, itaso ko ng kamay, sino yung pong nakabasa? Iyon, no? Be honest. Iyon. Kasi nung aling iba. <laughs> okay. Narinig nyo ba ako dyan? Yung mga hindi mo nakakarinig sa akin dyan sa likod, pakitaas yung kamay. Yun, may nagtaas. Thank you for being honest. <laughs> Lahat po nang wala dito, itaas yung kamay. Yun, perfect attendance. Thank you, ma'am. Ang galing. Okay. So, are, are we here? Are we learning? Are we listening? Do you think this is the proper education that K-12 should teach? our students. I don't think so. Okay? Because today, you will realize that today is not the end of learning. Because today is the end, it's the beginning of learning, relearning, and unlearning. And today, your best investment is a proper education which should start today. Today, today, today. Sabihin po natin lahat, today! So, malinaw po, pag uwi po natin ngayong araw na to, hindi po ito ang uh, katapusan ng ating pag-aaral. Actually, I'm still a student right now at this very age of 41 and handsome. I don't know, wala naman yung handsome. Diba? Sabi ni Ching Kita, the best investment for the future is the education, proper education today. So, mag-invest po tayo, parents, sa education. At sabi ko ni Ma'am Cabrera kanina, hindi lang naman po nakukuha ang proper education sa loob ng four quarters ng school na to. As we go out, as we meet people, as we discuss with people, as we talk with people, we will learn something. Have you heard about the uh, positive no answer? Yeah, Ma'am, meron yun Ma'am. Sa math, wala. Pero sa buhay, meron pong positive no. It's saying no to all those things that are not good and that's a positive no. Yun po ang hirap ng kabataan ngayon, magsabi ng no. Kasi pag sinabi yung no, no, may edge pa. No. No. Okay? So we'll start with the power of attitude. The power of attitude. Ma'am, wala akong si Miss Galano o nung Tagalog ko, baka mali ko. Ay ma'am, pakikorek na lang po ako, baka mali yung pagkakatranslate ko. Yung attitude po, ugali. Di ba? Ugali po yun. Wala namang kinalalaman ng looks. Wala ko. Ugali lang. Okay. Sinisigurado ko lang pagkakamali ako. Ay ma'am. Okay, the power of attitude. The power of attitude. Basahin po natin lahat. Tanungin natin ang sarili natin. Let's all ask ourselves this question. How can I become successful as student? teacher, and parent. Pwede pa pala. Pwede pa tayo maging successful. And, ang sabi ganina, ngayon, ang umpisa. Wala na. Hindi na po bukas. Di ba? Ang, ang tawag ko doon ay manana habit. Wala ko pang Spanish doon. Si Sir Efren Dalog lang ang nag-Spanish sa amin. Sir Efren, when's I? Ito. <laughs> Yun, nakakarinig ko ba minun. Okay po. So, wala ko kami Spanish. Ngayon, may foreign language na. Ang galing, no? Sana dati may foreign language kami. Foreign language yung namin dati, kapangpangan lang. Yan na yun. Di ba? So, today will be the start that we will become successful. Do we agree? Do we believe that? Do we claim that? Great. The power of attitude. Question again. Pagpasensya nyo na ho, ha? Kahit tapos na ho yung oras natin, marami pa rin mong tanong or tapos na yung school days ang dami pa rin tanong. You are only an attitude away from success. Di ba? An attitude away. Malayo ho ba yun? Hindi. An attitude away. It's not far. Success is not far. Hindi po imposible. Sabi ko nga namin mga runner, if I'll do it alone, I will run fast. But if, if we do it together, together as school, we will go far. And success is not far behind.
Okay? The only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Marami ko tayo kasi pamahinin eh. Naku, hindi mo na ako papasok kasi pag-iisip mo kaninang umaga, dapat sa right side, eh sa left side ako nag-iisip. <laughs> Tapos pagtawid ko ng kalsada, may itim na pusa. So hindi mo na ako papasok. Tapos napanaginipan ko po kagabi yung kapitbahay namin. Di ba? So, it's an attitude. Sabi, ano ba yung attitude problem? May attitude problem. Everything starts with the right attitude. Do we agree? Wala na mo ata. Are we still here? Yes! Yeah. Taas natin yung kaliwang kamay natin naman ngayon. Tapikin natin ang balikat yung nasa kaliwa natin. Pare attitude lang yan. Attitude lang yan. Okay? Ito po yun, no? Yun! <laughs> yan ang bad, ad, bad day attitude. Pasensya mo ba yun? Di, uh, ano po ito eh? Ni-request ko po na black and white lahat. <laughs> Para ano? Yan ang bad attitude. Tingnan nyo naman. Di ba? So, kung gusto nyo, pag-iising nyo ng umaga, ganyan po kayo. Ako po, pag-iising ko ng umaga, start my day with prayer. It helps a lot. Hindi po tayo nagsisermon mo dito or nag-praise, no? Sino ang nagpipray dito pag-iising ng umaga? Di ba? Kasi ang hirap po nun, paano pag-iising nyo ng umaga, patay na kayo? Di ba? Ang hirap po nun, pag-iising mo ng umaga, patay na kayo. Ah, okay. Joke po yun. <laughs> joke, joke po yun. Okay? Iyan. Iyan. Let's discuss the about the attitude of winner and loser. Di ba? Paano ba yung loser? Loser. Di ba? Yung mga kabataan dito. Dati hindi namin alam yun. Pag gumano kami, akala namin election. Laban. Ano ni Cory? Cory. Ay, mga nakaka-relate. Ano pa pala ka ng edad? Di ba? Cory, Cory. Kaya hindi ako nagtilaw pa kami ng election. What is the difference between a winner and a loser? Just an attitude. Just an attitude. Di ba? So ngayon, magkakaroon tayo ng LSS. Ano ba yung LSS? Ang galing yung last song syndrome. Ngayon, last sentence syndrome. It's about last syllable syndrome too. Dati nung high school lang ang pronunciation namin yan, attitude. Di ba? Magnitude. <laughs> Pero ngayon, kagaling na mga diction, sinasabi ko nga kayo mo. Ano po yan yung Cabrera, yung, ano, yung diction? Good morning! Pag si Miss, ah, wala ko dito, pwede kong sabihin. <laughs> si Miss Valdez, pag good morning. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Uh, I, I will repeat the announcement. Repeat the announcement. Good morning. Ganun po talaga. Good morning. Okay. Winner versus loser. Ayan po. Yeah. Ayan. And this is the picture of the winner. Success. Ayan. Nagustuhan niyo ba? Nasaan mo yung masigapang balakpakan? Ayan. Salamat. Yung, nasasanay nga ako sa palakpakan. Actually, kalahati lang po kayo ng mga pinagawa. <laughs> okay. The power of attitude when it comes to winners. Anong sabi ng loser? Are always part of the problem. Always have excuses. Diba? Hindi po ako nakag-tweet kagabi. Ayoko pumasok bukas. Hindi ako nakapag-review. Puro nakag-tweet. Hindi po ako nakagawa ng assignment kasi hindi pinadala sa Facebook yung question. Loser. Say, that's not my job. Di bali ng tamad, huwag lang pagod. <laughs> Oye, nakarelate o. Oh. Dahil nakarelate o. Oh. Maamin o. No? Alam niyo ba pag gumiti, pag-amin na huyo. Di ba? Pag-amin na huyo. Hindi naman ako tamad e. Eh. Masipag lang yung parents kung mag-utos, di ba? Ganun yung excuses, no? See a problem for every answer. Pwede bang pakisabi? Sabi ng nanay, Anak, pwede bang pakipuntahan mo yung kapitbahay? Wala akong load. Puntahan na nga, wala pang load. <laughs> Tapos pag, pag nilabas mo yung kamay mo, nasa kapitbahay ka na, hindi pa mapuntahan. Ex di ba? Puro rason. Eh, yung winners are always part of the answer. Gusto niyo bang maging winner? Do you want to be part of the answer? Di ba? 
Simple, but not easy. These are simple words, but not easy. Don't hear it from me. Do it. Act it. Live it. Okay, yeah? Yeah? It's not enough hearing this today. For tomorrow, wala na ako dito, may bayad na. Okay. Ayun. Ayun na naman. Always have a program. Di ba? Yung, ano ba yun? Sabi na, bahala na yung mga loser. Pero ang winner, may plano. Because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Again, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So, importante mo may programa. First year ka lang, alam mo na, vivid na sa iyong isip. Hindi mo madi-discuss dito, pero that's the power of goal setting. First year ka lang, pwede ka nang mag-set ng goal mo. First year ako, gusto kong maging uh, top five. No? One maliksi, no? one maliksi. Second year, diamond na kami kaagad. Wow! Diamond to diamond. Third year, nara. Tapos natutunan namin, hindi pala yung nara ang pinakamatigas na kahoy, kapitong pala. <laughs> Di ba? Sabi namin. Tapos, fourth year, isang pagkita. Yan. Uh, segway muna ko tayo kasi pumasok po sa aking isipan. First year, maliksi. Uh, yung home una namin advisor na nagkakaupong lola ko, si Mrs. Veronica Fernandez, ay sumakabilang buhay na po kasama ni Lord uh, ng Friday. So, lola ko po siya. Pagbaba ko dito, dyan lang po yung classroom namin. Yan. First maliksi, one maliksi. So, at the age of 83, uh, she was a UP graduate with one surviving daughter na nagtuturo po rin dito, si Auntie Dahlia. So, imagine ninyo po yun. Lola mo na ginawa pa akong fifth place. Di ba? Yun. <laughs> Kaya nga, o, oh, sabi ko, Lola, pang bihira. Actually, Lola ko, entrepreneur ko yun naman eh, no, no first year. So, dahil Lola ko, ako yung inutusan niya na magbenta. Magbenta ng dilis, magbenta ng ice candy. Doon po. Natuto po ako. Hindi ko po ikinahiya. Uh, at that early age, natuto po ako. Natuto po ako mangupit. <laughs> uh, ganito po. Pero alam ko, kasi kailan pinatigil niya ako siguro magpinta, dahil one time, naglalaro na hat ng mga classmates ko ng wallet at saka text. Wala pang capture-capture nun eh. Pinapayaman kami ni Mr. Cabrera. Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mabay po yan eh. Naintindihan niya. Okay, actually, siya pong nagturo sa amin magbilang na isa, dalawa. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Kaya <laughs> di ba, di ba? <laughs> eh, hindi po ako makapaglaro kasi 50 na ice candy, tapos 20 ata na dilis, pinamigay ko. Yun, natuto ako ng pagkakawang mawa. <laughs> hindi na ako pinagtinda. Susunod na ako. Anak, ang galing mo. Hindi ka dapat maging magnegosyante. Dapat maging volunteer worker. Pero nakuha ko yung goal ko. Remember, goal setting. My goal was to play with my classmates. <laughs> no matter what it takes. No matter the obstacles. Tinatanong ako ni Ms. Cabrera kanina, may obstacle ka ba? Meron po. Yung binang ko. Si Mabulya na binang. <laughs> Uh, bago ako makarating sa kanya, mga teachers muna, pinagmamano po ako. Yun. Actually po, meron kami COVID skip dito noong araw. <laughs> okay lang sir, okay lang. So, in-spoof namin yung mga teacher namin, si Mr. Abe, Mr. J. Ladislao, sir. Ngayon na lang po humingi po ako ng tawad after 25 years. <laughs> Patawarin niyo po. In behalf of my batchmate. Uh, alam niyo lang po kung sino pinakamatali mo sa amin nun, si Efren. Siya po utak lahat nun. <laughs> Yun. Eh, nakakatuwa po ako. Kasi yung first room na masigasig ngayon, dyan po ang guidance counselor uh, na ating yung ako, si Ms. Bautista. Diba? Dyan din po yung clinic. Ni nurse, I forgot. Beautiful nurse. Sila na pala? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, maganda po yung nurse. So, ini-imagine ko po, bakit po yung guidance counselor at saka yung uh, clinic magkasama? It's it after the guidance counseling, kailangan kang i-clinic. 
<laughs> o bago ka mag-guidance counselor, clinic muna. Di ba? Parehas mo nangyari sa akin yun. <laughs> Ayun. Kasi po, tiyahin natin ni, ng ex-girlfriend ko si Mang Bautista. Okay. So, let's go back. Ayan. Ang sabi ng winner, let's do it. Di ba? Ganyan yung mga winner eh. So, tingnan nyo yung mga katabi nyo. Di ba? Makikilala nyo yan. Sa mga achievers, meron talagang board leaders. So, palagi, hindi ka na, gawin na natin. Tumakbo kami ni Sir Efren sa ESNA. <laughs> Tapos, nung gumawa na kami ng program, kami na lang ni Sir Efren. Kami bumibili ng simento, kami kumukuha ng buhangin sa Karayan Buris. Yeah. Kami rin ang, yan. So, board leader mo yan si Sir Efren eh. Let's do it, sabi ng gano'n. Hindi po ano ito ha, hindi po ito si Juan Flavier, let's do it. O, tingnan nyo. Pag mga bahala kong gano'n, 1980s, alam po kung sino yung mga tinatamahan. <laughs> okay. Then, a winner, see an answer to every problem. Wala hong problema. Palagi hong may solusyon. Hindi ba? Uh, sabi nila, everything happens for a reason. So, kung problema na po, problemahin mo pa. Ang hirap nun. Kayo naman po, kanina nakita niyo yung news. 25 years, pinoproblema ko pa ngayon. Di ba may namamatay na, kumapatay ng pogi? O, oh, yung bang problema nyo? Eh, ang lilit na lang problema nyo, ako oh, lucky. Palagi ako na-expose. Di ba? Oh, di ba? Ang lilit ng problema nyo. Eh. Hindi mo kayo makarilig mo talaga eh. Di ba? <laughs> Aakuhin ko na lang yun. Sige po. Aamin na ako. Mayroon mo magsimunong alin. Pag ang ebidensya, kitang-kita. <laughs> okay. Ano pa? Loser are apart from the team. Palagi hindi siya sumasama sa team. Di ba? Loser, loner, ako na lang to. Di ba? See the pain. Naku! Sasakit ang katawan natin yan pag ginawa natin yan. But you know what? Scientifically, If you do things, exercises, tingnan niyo si Mr. Cabrera, palagi pong nagtitene siya, maganda pa ang pangangatawan niya, at maganda pa rin ang boses niya. No, ano, ayaw niya na lang kung kumanta nung sa amin, nung reunion namin, di ba? Sa pain, there's no pain, no pain, ano yung, no guts, no ID, okay. perfect. May quiz po tayo mamaya, tatanda nyo, I promise. We started with a simple reading exercise, we will end up with a short quiz. Take note. <laughs> See, imposible yan eh. Di ba naman? Oh, ayoko, napaka-imposible yan. Imposible naman, ano, mag-text ako pag hindi smartphone, phone ko, di ba? Sino dito ang walang phone? Wow! Grabe, no? Grabe. Ang mga phone ko po, although iPhone, second hand po ito, hand me down ng misis ko. Yan. Pag natapos na po yung plan niya sa Singapore, inuwi niya, then binibigyan niya sa akin. So lahat po tayo may phone, no? Di ba? So pati yung pag, dati yung nilalakad namin magmulatore hanggang high school. Okay lang po ba high school? Kasi nakilala namin po ito high school, hindi national eh. Tapos pabalik, naglalakad pa rin. Tapos pag kailangan mo ng books, kailangan puntahan mo yung teacher or puntahan mo yung schoolmate mo doon sa katartaraan, bantokali, para lang makapag-review. Ngayon, text na lang. I-GMG mo, i-Google. Lahat mo tala, pala tayo may phone. Meron mo ba kayo pang-load? Pahingi po na mami. Pahingi po daddy. Di ba? Pahingi papa. Alam ka na. Alam ka na. Diba? Tapos, palaging see the past. Kasi ganito kami noon eh. Di ba mga parents, medyo guilty tayo sa mga anak natin. Alam mo, nung kami nag-aaral dyan, ganito lang bako namin. Naglalakad lang kami. Ganito lang ang chinenas namin. Di ba? Eh, pasensya na po kayo, hindi po ako makarelate dyan. Eh, alam nyo naman po, ang pamilya namin, napangkit kanina, di ba? Di ba? Uh, actually, unknown to everyone, my family and is uh, iron and steel business. Meron mo ba sa mga tarot doon? Iron and steel business. Kaya hindi ko makarilingan na wala, wala akong bako. Hindi ba yabang yan? Eh, no? Ubus kasi yabang eh. Iron and steel business. 
my mother irons my wife father steals <laughs> yeah nabuhay na naman tayo let's proceed yeah promise yeah puro promises pangangako pag naliligaw ipapangako ko sa yung buwan may nabasa ako ng gabi pag naliligaw ni eh. mahal pupunta na kami sa giyera sana pag tinamaan ako ng bala, huwag sa puso, kasi nandun ka. O, oh, tiyan! <laughs> Ayaw mo isa ka. Okay, winners are a part of the team. See the game. No matter how small, consider it a game. Minsan, yung grade natin, 75, naging 76, ang baba naman ang itinaas. Hindi mo magagawa ng teacher yon. Palagi sinasabi ng teacher namin, taga-compute lang kami ng grade nyo. E sa batch ko namin, nahirapan sila mag-compute. Pantay-pantay. Kung pwede ko mag ng 101, gagawin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Di ba sa reference? Okay? Pusible yan. Ang sabi ng winner, pusible yan. Palagi yan sinasabi. Positive thinking. Possible gawin yan. Di mo ba? Michael Jordan. Sino nakakalang kay Michael Jordan? Nakakilala kay Michael Jordan. Di ba? Si Michael Jordan, bago siya naging superstar at nagkaroon ng six championship NBA rings, he missed 9,000 shots. He missed 26 game-winning shots. Sinabi niya ba, imposible? Hindi. He kept on trying and trying and trying and trying. And... I-google niyo po yung mga first year na hindi nakakakilala kay Michael Jordan. Basahin niyo po ang kanyang mga achievement. Okay? See the potential. Yung mga teacher, ay nako, ako hindi ano yan, eh, hindi nakakabasa, wala na ibang potential niya. Diba? Eh yung K-12, napatunayan na ang potential, pwede maging good dancer, good singer, best in honesty, yeah, hardworking, ano pa ba yun? responsible but believe you me believe you me honesty versus intelligence i prefer honesty it should not be always hard work you must be also a smart worker a hard work puts time into the work smart worker put results into the work so hindi niya tinitingnan ang oras Winner po yun. Tinitignan niya kung anong matatapos niya sa oras na yun. It is not the time you put in your life. It is the life that you put into your time. If you want to be a winner, anong i-adopt natin? Attitudes of winner. Winners make it happen. Losers, bahala na. Bahala na. Okay. Uh, bilisan na lang muna din to. How do I develop a positive attitude in life? Who are the people I associate with? Sino ang mabarkada ito nyo? May kasabihan, birds with oak, oh, same feather, became, uh, nagiging feather duster. Uh, flag together. Di ba? So tell me who your friends are and I will add you as friend. Ah, Paki-add sa Facebook. Ganun na yun. Kaya naman. <laughs> diba? And I tell you who you are. Diba? Who are the people who you actually will? Yan. Authors. Mahilig ko ba tayo magbasa ng libro? Di ko ba? Can you promise that today you will look for a book that you will read throughout the summer tapos i-share nyo pagbalik nyo sa school? Okay ba yun, mga students? Let's grab a book. Sino ba yung kilala yung mga ano, mga author? Steve, Stephen Covey? John Maxwell? Bo Jackson? Ah. Oh, yes, bro. Oh. Sig Siglar. Alam niyo si Sig Siglar na matay ngayon noong December. Diba? Sa Pilipinas naman, dyan si Francisco, si Bo Sanchez, si Chiquita. Si John Bryan, hindi, wala pa akong libro ka mga nyo. Jokes, mga jokes. <laughs> okay? Sino yung mga pinapakinggan yung speaker? 
Last na ho ito. <laughs> diba? Diba? No, no, no. Kidding. What are the words of affirmation you would like to confess every day? Dear parents, I'd like to address this question to you. Pag kinakausap natin yung mga anak natin, sinasabi natin, ang bobo mo, ang tatanga mo. Di ba? Demonyo ang tatay mo. Kaya nung pumasok yung bata, ano pangalan ng tatay mo? Demonyo, sabi ng nanay ko. Di ba? Alam nyo ho, wala naman ho. Will it hurt you, parents, that anak, galingan mo pa? Di ba? Kung kulang, alam nyo naman kulang, anak, galingan mo pa. Anak, magtsaga ka pa. Be careful. Di ba? Sa Bible, the power of tongue, alam nyo yun, mga nagbabasa ng Bible, ang tang ang pinaka powerful na part of the body. Okay? So be careful with what you say. Mamaya, itatakal natin yan. Sa mga classmates mo rin, tsagayin mo yan. Di ba? Magtutulungan tayo. Let's do away with negative words. For example, pag pumapasok po ako sa umaga, after my prayers, sasabihin ko, sana maluwag at safe ang daan. Pero yung ibang tao sasabihin, sana walang traffic. Yan. Parehas lang po yun, di ba? Pero, ginagamit ko, positive words. Sana maluwag at safe ang daan. Kaysa sana walang traffic. Eh, hindi, kung wala ng traffic, wala na tayo sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Only in the Philippines. Okay? Okay ba yun, parents? Teachers? Friends? Di ba? Positive, encouraging, kind words. Let's now go to the power of discipline, which is the last part of my discussion today. Sa ikaulat ng bayan, disiplina ang kailangan. That's just a slogan. Uh, sumasama rin kami sa poster ng slogan dati, hindi ko kami pinapalang manado. Maganda yung slogan, pangit yung drawing. <laughs> Iyon. So the power of discipline. Naniniwala mo ba kayo na may power ang discipline? Do you believe that? Of course, I do believe that. Kasi hindi ko po i-discuss kung dito kung hindi ako mismo naniniwala dyan. Okay? Defined by Webster. Training that corrects, molds, perfects the mental faculties of moral character. Orderly or prescribed conduct or pattern of behavior. Yan po ang sinasabi sa discipline. Okay? Ang sabi dito, alam nyo na po ito, Watch your thoughts, for they become words. Watch your words, for they become actions. Watch your actions, for they become habits. Watch your habits, for they become character. Watch your character, for they become destiny. Yung character po ng tao, yun ang nagpapagising sa ating kumaga. Yung commitment po natin, yun po ang nag-move sa atin that will uh, move us into action. Okay? Character, bumabang tayo sa umaga. Commitment, we move into action. But sometimes, our actions are not enough or we maybe have the wrong actions. But at the end of the day, we did act. But our discipline will make us follow through. Discipline na po ang kailangan kahit ilang failing, falling, but rising up again. That's the attitude, that's the discipline. Okay? Sabi ni Plato, kilala nyo si Plato, hindi ko Plato yan, baka nagugutom na ko kayo. The first and best victory is to conquer self. Si Plato po, isudyante siya ni Socrates, Greek mythology. Tapos si Plato, teacher siya ni Aristotle. Hindi ko si Aristotle Puertes, kapas ko yun. Okay? Sabi naman ni Dan Jansen, I do not try to be better than anyone else. I only try to be better than myself. Ang una niyo po kasi talunin yung sarili niyo. The old John Bryant Pasco has expired last night. And I'm a new creation right now. Every day I try to improve. Every day I try to read the papers. Sabi nga ng anak ko, Papa, kaya sumasakit ang chan mo kasi bago ka kumain, nagbabasa ka muna ng dyaryo. Habit na po yun. Okay? I-google niyo po, no? Take note, Dan Jensen. Kung ano yung ginawa niya. I have a video here, but I think it's the... Our... our uh, will not be suitable for the video. Pero i-google niyo po. Dan Jansen at saka si Nick Bujicic. So, uh, take note. Nick Bujicic at saka si Dan Jansen. 
kung ano yung discipline na ginawa nila, kaya po sila nag-achieve. Di sinasabi dito, if you don't have discipline, you don't have the right to dream. Do we agree? Is that the truth? Katotohanan po ba yun? Masakit po ang katotohanan. So, disiplina po ang kailangan. Okay, tignan nyo ang disiplina na. Nakita nyo na po ba ito sa Manila? Marami po yan, MMDA. Sabi dito, walang tawiran nakakamatay. Effective? Effective ba yan? Sa palagay nyo, naging effective? Hindi. Naglagay sila, bawal tumawit. May namatay na dito. <laughs> effective? Nung ganyan na? Effective na yan. Wala nang tumawit. Hindi pa rin po. Ito nilagay nila sa mundo. Yan. Lupin, sabi na kung tatawid. Hindi pa rin effective. Kasi marami pong tumatawid kabataan. Kaya na, nakapag-design ang MDA, ito ilagay. Huwag po tawid. Nakaka-dead. So, yan. <laughs> yan. Yan. Natawa na naman ba yun. No? Okay. Short quiz. Are we ready? Are we ready with the short quiz? Okay. Mabilis lang to. Ito yung araw na papayagan namin kayo magtanungan, magkopyahan, magbulungan ng sagot nyo. Okay? At sabay sa libang tanong lang po ito. Ito na. Ready na? Are you ready with your papers? Are we learning? Are we here? Nagustuhan nyo ba? O di ba ang kasunduhan natin pag nagustuhan palakpakan? Thank you. Short quiz. Ah. Name the five wealthiest men in the world. Name the last five Oscar Best Actor winners. <laughs> Name the last five winners of the Miss Universe pageant. Mahirap ba? Mahirap. Name... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, eto na lang. Yan, eto na lang. Yung una po, di ba? Parang, ang hirap sa bote, kaya natawa na natin. Ang ibig lang sabihin nun, yung mga nanalo ko doon, hindi sila second rate. Ang tindi ng paghihirap, sakripisyon na ginawa nila. Sa pageant lang po, sabi sa Venezuela, at the age of seven, piniprepare na po nila yung magiging Miss Universe. Di ba? Pero hindi natin kakilala. You know what? Achievements, applause, dice. Nawawala po yan. Nakakalimutan. Pero yung mga binanggit natin doon, wealthiest man, we have uh, Slim from Mexico, we have Bill Gates, we have Warren Buffett, Trump. Di ba? Pero hindi natin kilala. Eto po, madali ho ba ito? List of you teachers who aided your journey through school. Madali ho ba yan? Yes. Name three friends who help you through a difficult time. Madali ho pa ba yan? Siguro yung mga tumulong pa sa inyo ng grade 1, natatandaan nyo pa ko, di ba? Ang gagalik pala natin. Kasi ito sa akin na na-expose tayo. Na, 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 pero papapisun yung mga Miss Caprero yung mga mga. Think of you people who have made you feel appreciated, special, and special. Kaya-kaya, baka sampu pa. Di ba? Think of five people you enjoy spending time with. Di ba? Limang girlfriends, limang boyfriends, ay, hindi, hindi, joke. Di ba? Mas madaling sagutin. Kasi alam nyo, kung sino ho ang mga tao niya, habang buhay po kayo, hindi niyo po sila makakalimutan. And that's another message for discipline. Thank you. Okay, it's my turn. Pwede ko bang bumaba? Ang araw artista yun din. List a few teachers. I could not... Sabi ko kanina, ipapaliwanan ko po bakit hindi po former teachers. At saka hindi po few. You know what? I will take a bow right now and encourage the achievers to please stand up and we will take a bow to our teachers. Achievers, please stand up. Let's stand up. Achievers. Yung mga teacher, ayaw tumayo. Hindi pala sila achiever. Dead or not. Mga teachers po. Kumupulang. Okay? Nasa number one po tayo. 
Lahat po ng mga parents din po na gusto tumayo, mga achievers, tumayo po tayo. List a few teachers who aided your journey through school. Alam niyo po, gawin niyo po yung listahan na yan. Lahat yan, itago niyo po. Okay, achievers, are we ready? At this very moment, this is how honored my teachers and I will take a bow. Thank you, teachers. Pinapawisan po ang aking mata. Real man, don't cry. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, hindi ko po sila tinatawag na former teacher because until now, yung mga tinuro po nila sa amin, uh, more than academics, yun po ang kondisyon namin kaya kami nakarating dito. Kaya po ako nandito ngayon at kaya po ako, I should say, successful as uh, manager and a parent because of my teachers. Thank you very much, teachers. Huwag niyo pong tatawagin kahit kailan former teacher because a teacher will be always a teacher, no matter what. Thank you very much. Name three friends who helped you through difficult time. Of course, one of my best friends, Mr. Efren Fernandez. Ping, could you please stand up, sir? Yeah. Uh, pinapawisan din yung mata mo? Yeah. Uh, Iyakin po kami ni Efren. Actually po si Sir Efren. Congratulations, sir. I will not announce it here because there will be a proper venue to announce that. Sa Twitter. <laughs> okay. Siya po ang kauna-unahan na nagbigay sa akin ng Bible. Sir Efren, do you remember that? The Gijon Bible. Read about the books of Gijon. Diba? Yung Gijon Bible, yung maliit, yung blue. Sabi ko, pangbihira naman. Binigay niya po sa SM. Hmm, SM. 1984. Sirok mangga. <laughs> Sirok mangga. Okay? So, yun, sabi ko, uh, Sir Efren, after how many years I realized that that book is the best book that I encourage our students to read this summer, the book of life. Written 2,000 years ago and is still the best book that there is. Kaya lang sabi ko kay Sir Efren nung binungsan ko yung Gijon ko, kabisado nyo pa yung Gijon Bible? Di ba sa likod niya maninipis yung pages? Tapos walang sulat? Sabi ko, nalungkot ako. Akala ko kaibigan, kaibigan ako ng Efren, binibigyan niya pala ng RP, rolling paper. <laughs> okay, hindi niyo maintindihan ko yan. <laughs> Ayun, na-pick up din. Okay. Name five people who have taught you something worthwhile. My teachers. My teachers. My uh, Mr. Agliang is here. Uh, Mr. Giang. Tinuruan niya ako ako ng mag pinakamabilis na fisherman's knot. Fisherman's knot sa Boy Scout. Si Sir Bobby Cabrera, hanggang ngayon, pag nagsasalita ako ako sa ganito karaming tao, sabi ko nga ako, kalahati mo lang ito. Yung vocalization, yung exercise ng boses. Oh. Tapos ipapasok ko, patkasya, sabi ko pang bihira. Eh, nakumahangal ako noon. Hindi ko akalain hanggang ngayon, kaya kakailanganin ko pa. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Tapos, kailangan matigas yung chan. Hindi ko matigas. Tapos sabi ko, kailangan din matigas ang mukha. <laughs> yeah. Hindi niyo tinuro yun. Nandiyan po doon si Mr. Tolentino. Pinagtsagahan niya po ako na dalawang kaliwa ang pa ako. Pero sabi niya, ako yung best dancer. Sabi ko, sino nga rin kasi. <laughs> Ayun. So, dahil sinabi niya na best dancer ako, kahit apro yung looks ko, yun yung buhok ko, eh nag-practice ako. Kaya napagkakamalan akong baliw doon sa Tory first. Sayaw ako ng sayaw ng tinikling. <laughs> Habang umuwi. Ayun. Saka yung bang mga teachers ko, si Miss Galiza, di ba? The opposite of uh, obsolete triangle, mga ganyan. So, theorem na natutukunan po natin. And thank you. Thank you sa mga teachers po namin. Thank you, Efren. To our batchmates, kung nandito po, salamat po sa inyo lahat. Okay? Think of a few people who have made you feel appreciated. Marami po. Unang-una, ang aking nanay, nandyan. Hindi pa po ako pinang... Yung nanay ko po matagal na. Magmula nang pinanganak po ako, nanay ko po siya. Uh, last March, she celebrated her 68th birthday, tama ba me? 34 years na po siyang beauta. So yun. Sabi nila, kaya tumatagal po ang edad ng mga nanay dahil po mabait yung anak ko rin. <laughs> Hindi na po siya nag-asawa. Kami na po ang kanyang mga asawa ng aking kapatid. Gagalawa po kami. So, uh, wala po dito yung mga kapatid niya pero sila po rin nagtaguyod sa amin sa college. 
Tapos yung isang obstacle ko, positive obstacle si Mamang Dawag. Paborito po ako noon after guidance council or principal's office. Akala ko na may award, di ba? May ceremony, di ba? Iyon. Kaya nung kinasalo kami ng ex-girlfriend ko, na wala ko dito, si Jane, eh, dito ba yung mapapangasawa ng anak ko? And three kids after, kanina po lang from the States, dinawagan niya ako. Sabi niya, kaya mo yan. Yes, ma'am, kasi wala ka dito. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Iyon. Sabi ko kay Alam Miss Eliza na palagi akong tinatawagan, huwag niyo po yung i-video nito kasi po hindi ko ito paninindigan. <laughs> okay? So, my parents, uh, my departed father, so uh, I was only 8 years old nung namatay po yung tatay ko, pero hindi po ako nawalan ng mga tatay. Kasi nandyan si Lolo tatay, si Lolo nanay, Uh, nandan yung mga tita ko, sini ng baby, lolo boy, mama mex, kung saan po ako lumaki. So, tumagal din po ang buhay niya. So, siguro mabay ko talaga akong bata ko. Tapos, sini ng Alice. Yan po. Uh, baka may nakalimutan po po ako pasalamatan uh, pag pangumanhin niyo po. Pero, tao sa aking puso. Kaya ako nandito ngayon, where I'm right now, because of these people who made the big difference in my life. Thank you very much. The last one is think of five people you enjoy spending time with. Ako ngayon sa Sunday sa mga pastors where I get my spiritual uh, dose of medicines. That's twice a week. Tapos I read books. Yan, sa mga anak ko, nagbabandig kami. Hindi ko nalang maintindihan yung mga terminology na NOL, OMG, GMG, di ba? Ganun mo sila mag-usap sa bahay. Matipid daw sa salita. OMG. Uh, hindi ko na maintindihan mo yun. But, but I use, I really find time to bond with my kids. Sinula, sinusulatan ko po sila every December. I think the, the third time, uh, last December. Every December po yan, ang title po ng sulat ko sa mga anak ko, Fathers Forget. Nakakalimot po minsan ang mga magulang. Ang last message ko po sa kanila, hindi ko man maibigay po sa inyo lahat ang inyong mga kainangan, but at the end of the day, you could claim that I was there. And I will be always there for my family. Thank you very much. Ito po yung kung gusto niyo pong makita, yung litrato ng... Yan. Yan, Batch 88. Yan. Palapakan mo namin ang Batch 88. Na 25 years. Kaya ako po nandito, hindi po dahil sa magaling ako kasi kasama ako sa 25 years. Hindi <laughs> po. Yan, batch 88. Na 25 years na po kami. Yan. Hindi naman halata. Maaga po, na-accelerated po kasi kami lahat. Kaya hindi halata sa mga. Yan po yung... Ito po yung pictures namin. Yan. Dito po yan. Dito po kinunan yan. Okay? Batch 88. Kung nandito man kayo, don't just plan to come back. Give back. Give back. That's my family. Okay? Ako ho yan, yung nakaparong. Ex-girlfriend ko ho yan, yung sumunod, si Jean. Yan. Ang bait-bait ho yan, minsan nahirapan, natutulog ako, nahirapan ako humbinga. Sabi niya, pa, huwag mong labanan. Ano? Pero pag nandito po siya, kakalipat na ulang galing uh, from the Philippines to Singapore last night. Hindi yung uh, masama yung mundam niya, hindi siya nakasama. Kasi nag-graduate na po yung bunso namin sa prep, magkikinder na po siya. Si Nico Boy. Uh, pag nasa office po ako, tumatawag po ako palagi. Sabi niya, maanong pagkain? Diba? Mahilig ko magluto si Mrs. eh. Kitang-kita naman po sa akin. Sabi niya, pinrepare ko na yung pagkain mo. So, pagdating ko sa bahay, excited, naka-cover pa. So, kala, so surprise ay niya ako. Pag, sabi niya, ma, ano mo lang, pumili ka. So, pag bukas ko, tuyo, ma, bakit tuyo, pumili ka, makakain ka. <laughs> sabi niya. <laughs> so, pero, biruan lang namin po ng wife ko yun. Uh, minsan, nakabawi naman po siya. Sabi niya, pa, kahit buhay ko, itataya ko para sa inyo. Really? 
puro kasat sa patunayan mo nga. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, si Jing po yan, anak po ng butihing principal po natin, si Mrs. Suliano Bilawa. Then, my eldest, tignan nyo naman kung maka-post, ganyan na pong post, no? Take note of the name. My eldest daughter is a third year, incoming third year, business management at De La Salle University. Okay, uh, my firstborn, uh, 18 years na po siya, so sigurado na po ako, well, siya na lang po ang firstborn ko. <laughs> okay, Nika, then John Nika, then my second daughter, and I'm happy she's here, uh, just won a gold medal for chess sa school nila. Uh, last, uh, in award po, gold medalist po siya sa chess. Yung hindi ko po na-achieve sa chess, siya po ang nagpapatuloy mo yun. Si Jen Nikki. Then my youngest son, best dancer daw, John Nico. Ayan. Yan po ang pabigya ko, yan po ang source of inspiration ko, aside from God. Okay? So, we will all, I intended to share this to everyone. Okay? Before I will end this message, you must be asking yourselves, how do I reach my dreams? The power of attitude, the power of discipline. How far can I go? I don't know. But sinabi ko nga, if I do it alone, without my family and without God, I could only go fast, but I cannot go far. In the last 41 years of my life, I'm turning 42. Actually, nasa bucket list ko po, pag nag-42 ako, dapat 42, natapos ko na yung marathon na 42. I have realized one thing. There is no destination beyond the reach of those who walk with God. Do we agree? Do we agree? So when you go out there in the world, take God's hand and walk with Him. Because when you do, whatever destination it is you are hoping to reach, if God walks with you and takes you through, there will be no destination beyond our reach. Beyond your reach. To all achievers, parents, teachers, I will meet you at the top and nowhere else. Mabuhay po kayo lahat. Salamat. Thank you, sir, for that substantial talk. You truly made everyone smile and, and even burst into laughter. We certainly are indebted for your presence to the significant event. Bogi ka na, winner ka pa. Once again, we are requesting Mr. John Brian Pasqua, our guest of honor and speaker, to be back on stage to receive an award. We are also requesting our very own principal, Mrs. Rosario Cabrera, the PTA President, BOD of the Great Seven Curriculum, Pastor Miguel Arquino, the PTA President of the Second Year Curriculum, Dr. Janet Pachon, the PTA President of the Third Year Curriculum, Mrs. Evangeline D. Fernandez. And of course, the head teachers of the depart of the different departments. We have Mr. Efren Vidandot, the head teacher of the Aralin Padipunan. Mr. Jose Binuan, the head teacher of the Values Education Department, Values Education. Mr. Bobby C. Cabrera, the head teacher of the Math Department. Mr. Fidel S. Tolentino, the head teacher of the TLE Department. Mrs. Leonora G. Sarzadilla, the head teacher of the mathematics department. Mrs. Ruth G. Quinto, the head teacher of the Filipino department. Mrs. Helima H. Navani, the head teacher of the science and technology department. And Mrs. Pe Corazon Ladislao, the head teacher of the English department, be on stage for the awarding rituals. May, may I read you the, the text of the class? Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 1, Division of Pangasinan 1, Mangatarang National High School, Class of 
recognition is hereby awarded to John Brian P. Pasqua, Department Head, Sales Operation Group, Sky Corporation, Fifth Honorable Mention, MHS Class 1988. In sincere gratitude and salutation to his immeasurable support and selfless effort as guest of honor and speaker during the 69th Annual Recognition and Class A Exercises held on March 18, 2013 at 8 a.m. at the conference hall with the theme Building the Nation's Future Leaders Through the K-12 Basic Education Program given the stated date of March 2013 at the conference hall. Norma R. Gonzal, uh, signatories, Norma R. Gonzal, Grade 7 Curriculum Chairperson, Eliza B. Fuertes, Second Year Curriculum Chairperson, Jocelyn Q. Saura, Third Year Curriculum Chairperson, F.L.B. Tando, Head Teacher of the Adeline Panipunan, Jose R. Pinuan, Jr., Head Teacher of the Values Department, Bobby C. Cabrera, Head Teacher of the Math Department, Halvima H. Lokaling, Head Teacher of the Science Department, Peco Razonas Latislao, Head Teacher of the English Department, Fidel S. Tolentino, Head Teacher of the TLA Department, and Rosario O. Cabrera, Principal Board.
Be narrow. 